You know, this week we're featuring Arizonans who have overcome great odds. And today, Gina is here to kick off the series with a story of a Scottsdale police officer who, let's just say, is inspiring all of us. I can't yes. wait to hear this I guy. Know. It's, it's am his whole story is amazing. And then just when you think you're impressed, we're going to tell you one more thing about him that uh, is incredibly impressive. So uh, let's get right to it. Officer Keith English has been with the Scottsdale Police Department for some 14 years. Impressed? Well, he's been with the U.S. Air Force for 30 years. And this man in uniform also sings in his church. He protects and he serves our community in so many ways, and he does it all while fighting a speech disorder, stuttering. You know this beat like the back of your hand, don't you? Yeah. I do. Veteran police officer Keith English chooses to work the midnight weekend shift. Now that I'm in a position so that other people aren't afraid, that's what I like to do for other people to make them feel secure. It's not about writing tickets, you know, it's not about, you know, um, you know, arresting people, so on and so forth, but it's all about going out and, and uh, making a difference in whatever way that is. While we rode along with him, Officer English responded to a call about a car in a park. It's three sisters. Their shift starts at 5.30 at night, but they just got off. And that uh, they stay there, they stay here in the park um, until the shift starts again. So I found out that uh, they're staying here because uh, they're uh, homeless. Officer English can't help but think about his own children. I mean, I'm going home, they're home, so. That's you fine. Your lunch. Yeah, this was left over, that's fine. Based upon the circumstances, do you want to write somebody a ticket or arrest somebody for something like that? No. And what I want, would I want uh, an officer to treat my, my uh, family member um, like how I treated them? By all means, yes. Through his community policing, through his enforcement of the laws, and just how he interacts with the general public and how he treats everybody with dignity and respect. He's exactly what we want officers to be. After serving his community all night long, Officer English isn't done. On Sunday mornings, he trades in his badge and gun for a microphone. Glory to glory to glory to glory. Officer English sings at Impact Church in Scottsdale during all three Sunday morning services. For the Anytime he's got like a solo or the song's his song, the, the church literally just rises, starts bouncing. It's, it's, it just brings so much life and, and joy to everybody that hears him sing. He just encompasses just love and compassion. And when he sings, you know, he exhumes that. Like it's, it's amazing. Believe it or not, that's not even the most remarkable part of Officer English's story. You see, he interacts with the public as a police officer and sings so soulfully, even though he has struggled with a stutter all his life. I just wanted a break from playing football. So I, um, I, 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 um, I you know, I, I, I went in the choir. High school is where Officer English says his love for music began. Miraculously, he says the stutter seems to go away when he sings. But it comes from the heart. So therefore, it's it's easier. It's a God thing because it's a gift from Him. It's almost like this overwhelming confidence that God gives him, and he sings, and and you would never know. It's a confidence anyone can see in Officer English in the church and while he's patrolling on his beat, and while he doesn't sing on the job too often. Thou believest in God only, and put no confidence in man. We got him to belt out a few bars and. Talk a little philosophy from a man who inspires on so many levels. Instead of running away from pain, um, instead of running away from you know the things that make you uncomfortable or or, or like uneasy, is it's better to run towards them, and then you can conquer them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, you're thinking, wait, amazing. I didn't hear the stutter. No, not at all. So he struggled with stuttering since he was a child. And I have to tell you, it has been quite a journey for him because uh, he, as a child, as an adult, has tried to get help for it. Mm -hmm. And nobody would help him. And so he had to work on it on his own. And he's worked very hard at it. So you do hear it every once in a while, uh, but not very often. 
as if that isn't enough, uh, Officer English also authors children's books. Wow. He's uh, so, so amazing. I know. So this series here is called Martin Brown, and it's, a, it's about this young man here, and he um, there's a monster under his, his bed that he's afraid of, and of course he confronts that monster mm -hmm. and finds out it's not so scary mm -hmm. after all. Uh, it seems appropriate, right? Yeah. For his own challenges in front of him that he's overcome so exactly. beautifully. And by the way, uh, the book is fantastically written. It's written in like rhyming poem form. Oh, and wow. so it's a really easy read uh, for a child. And he's got three different levels. So we put the information if you want the book on where you can get it. I was going to say, where can we find it? Yeah, I want to get on, one. It's on Amazon. Okay, it's on great. Barnes and Noble. It's on all the big websites or Martin whatever. Martin Brown. Yes, all Martin right. Brown. So anyways, wow. um, yeah, you want to share the story online. It's so inspiring. And Isn't he amazing? Way, He's yeah. not only got a beautiful voice, singing voice, but what a great man, the way he yes. treated those sisters mm -hmm. in yeah. that park. I mean, that that's... That's fantastic. Yeah, and you bring up a great point about that. I mean, he, you know, he is the kind of police officer that you want showing up at your home, not right. only because he'll treat you with compassion, right. but he's a big, strong guy. <laughs> and so if there's trouble, don't mess with he's him. He's not messing around. <laughs> All around amazing human, Absolutely. right? Is all we great can say story, that. Gina. Yeah, we're Thank lucky you, to Gina. have a really great community. job. Beautiful, Thank you for beautiful, that. inspiring story for sure.